All right, summertime in the Midwest. What do you say we start our tomato pesto and our sweet corn salsa? Got those cherry tomatoes. Just a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper. I've got two ears of corn. I soaked in water about 20 minutes. And I'm just gonna let them roast. Um, 15, 20 minutes, let them cook a little bit. I'm gonna try to do these on the grill. Uh, give them a little bit more flavor than they would get in a regular oven. Carver me up. Have my buddy Siri set me a timer. And away we go. A uh, little side note on the grill here. My dad gave me this grill when I was 21 years old. Uh, so it's got a lot of miles on it and a lot of good stories to it. Um, and I actually got the privilege of cooking dinner on this on my oldest son's 21st birthday. We had a really nice time. Did some fillets and some lamb chops up here. As you can see, just a beautiful 4th of July weekend here. And away we go. We'll see you in about 15 minutes. Okay, we've been about 20 minutes on our grill. Uh, just putting on Kingsford charcoal. Been going 20 minutes, about 400 degrees. And that's all what we got. Beautiful tomatoes, blistered real nice. Corn looks really great, a little early for corn round here. Get just a little bit of color on that, as long as the fire is nice and hot. I had some apple wood chips in the garage. Soaked in some water about a half an hour. I'm going to wait for my corn to char. I'm going to throw these chips on there. There we go. Just gonna make a killer salsa. So, yeah, just a handful. I think I happen to have apple, uh, mesquite, hickory, whatever you got, will work. Uh, stay tuned. I'm gonna show you a cool little trick. Uh, we're gonna do with some shrimp to serve with our tomato pesto and our sweet corn salsa. Stay tuned. Okay, those apple chips get nice and hot. Kind of here, sizzle. Got some little shrimp in the freezer. Had to be on sale, apparently, otherwise I wouldn't have bought it. And we're just going to smoke these for just a little bit, about three minutes a side. You'll notice I'm going to put the vent over where the shrimp is. That's going to help the smoke go over and flavor our shrimp. I'm going to close it just a little bit more, and we're smoking our shrimp. All right, so I flip these once. You see they're getting really nice color. I'm just gonna take them off. I'm gonna char them real quick. As long as the fire's nice and hot. And again, we're gonna take these, we're gonna chill these, and serve them with our tomato pesto and our sweet corn salsa tomorrow. Okay, now back to our corn salsa. If you remember yesterday, we rolled a couple of ears of corn on the grill about 20 minutes as we roasted the tomatoes for our soon to be coming tomato pesto. Um, also rolled the jalapeno while the grill was hot. Kind of fire roasted that, bring out some flavor, kind of make it a little bit more interesting. So our corn, let's get our camera on here. Um, again, simple roasted about 15 minutes on the grill. Soaked it about 10, 15 minutes, just in some cold water. You can see how tender it is. Just right off the cob like that. I'm gonna break it up just a bit with my hands, kind of break up some of those little clusters. Pretty early for corn here, early July in Wisconsin, but a really nice color, nice taste to it, nice flavor. Um, interesting for a change. I've got two Roma tomatoes that I kind of chopped up. Roma tomatoes are gonna have a little bit less water in them. Um, kind of hold together. There'll be a lot of water with the corn and what we're putting in here. So these are going to be a little bit drier. See, there's just a little bit of water on the plate here. About a quarter of a diced red onion for flavor, for color. And there's our jalapeno. Uh, just about half of that roasted jalapeno for some heat, for some flavor. In she goes. Just like that. We'll see. Try not to put so much water in there. A little salt, a little kosher salt, a couple shakes. 
our little pepper oh. blend here. Again, I've got black, I've got green, I've got white. You name it, I got it. Start with that. I'm not going to use any cilantro. I'm not a big fan of cilantro, so I'm just not going to use it. And I got about a quarter of a fresh lime. And it's that simple. This is killer with a burrito bowl or some homemade tacos. We're going to serve this cold with our smoked shrimp that we did yesterday. And I'm kind of the um, put together charcuterie board. Nice light in the summer. Um, doing this on the 4th of July, and I'm doing this now because it's raining. <laughs> and it's humid, so I'm not out golfing. Um, I'm actually being semi productive here. And we're just going to mix that up and let it sit for a little bit in the fridge. Let it all kind of come together. Taste it and adjust for seasons. If it's too dry, which it probably won't be, you drop a little olive oil in here. If it's too wet, you add some more product, kind of dry it up. There's some dry herbs. There is our homemade uh, fire roasted sweet corn salsa. Again, we're gonna let this sit, not about 15 minutes or so. Uh, taste it, adjust for seasonings, and in the meantime, we're gonna build our tomato pesto. Okay, time to start our tomato pesto. If you remember yesterday, we took a package of cherry tomatoes and just a little bit of olive oil, some salt and pepper, and we roasted these on our grill as we were doing the corn and as we were doing the jalapeno. About 20 minutes, nice hot grill. Not gonna put all of the olive oil in there, just a little bit to start. So we got that going in our handy dandy food processor here. Um, love to keep one of these up here. We do a lot of pestos, a lot of salsas. It's like farmer's market heaven up here and you can go pretty crazy uh, with all the stuff. And this is relatively inexpensive. It was like 40, 50 bucks uh, off of Amazon. Uh, makes a pizza dough really quickly and would kind of help us really quickly with this tomato pesto. Got a package of slivered uh, almonds. Toasted them in a frying pan for just a few minutes. Got a handful of basil leaves and a little bit of fresh parsley. Kind of freshen it up and get that garden feel to it. About two ounces of grated Romano cheese. We're gonna start with that, see what we get. A couple of shakes of pepper. I'm gonna be real careful with the salt here. Um, there's gonna be salt from the nuts and um, I don't wanna overdo it. Salt from the cheese, a couple shakes. Pepper flake, let's live dangerously. Give it the nice Italian heat. And again, it's not Polly's Pantry. That little bit of white wine. And hey, it's my show. I can do what I want to. When you get your show, you put whatever you want in your tomato pesto. So there. Just for that, I'll put a little bit more. So away we go. We're ready to rock here. Hopefully I don't have to redecorate my kitchen. Processor on and away. Yeah. And you can make it as chunky as you like, as soupy as you like, um, as thick as you like, as thin as you like. But there is our tomato pesto. How simple is that? And again, if it's a little too watery, we're going to blend this just a little bit more. I'm going to throw maybe just a little bit more cheese in here. Kind of thicken it up. And again, what we're going to do is we're going to toast some little garlic breads and serve this as almost like a plate bruschetta with some toasted garlic bread. Uh, I'm in Amish country up here. I found some beautiful country style Amish bread uh, that we're gonna toast up and grill up for our little cold tray we're gonna make a little bit later on. And I'm gonna add just a little bit more cheese to this. Oh, not that much. I didn't use any extra olive oil. Um, because there's olive oil in the pan as we roasted those tomatoes. Mm. 
Hopefully you can hear me over the noise here. Let's give her a taste. And I go spoon to spoon here. Uh, trick you learn in a restaurant business so you're not double dipping or contaminating it. But there is our beautiful tomato pesto. Really good. Excuse me. Just a little bit of a crunch to it. Uh, very flavorful. Again, I think I'm going to puree this one or two more seconds. Really nice with that crunch from the nuts. We're going to fridge this. Put it in the fridge for about 15, 20 minutes, just like I did with the salsa. Kind of adjust for taste and start serving. Back in a second. All right, we're plating and wrapping up here. Here is our beautiful sweet corn salsa with fire roasted right off the Weber grill. Uh, sweet corn, some Roma tomato, a little jalapeno, and some red onion. Those are our smoked and grilled shrimp that we did yesterday. We have a beautiful color on them. Uh, just had some apple chips laying around, and we're going to serve this just on a plate with that. Here is our tomato pesto. And I grilled some garlic toast. It's some beautiful Amish bread here, uh, locally. Just kind of put it in that, put some garlic butter on there, just like you make a grilled cheese. And there you've got a beautiful, light summertime appetizer uh, to go with the shrimp and to go with your corn salsa. So that's it today for a long-awaited, uh, missed you guys. Haven't been around for a while. Um, life's been a little interesting here uh, the past six or seven months. So I haven't been out haven't been around, uh, frankly, haven't been real motivated. But now we're back in action. I've um, got a really nice dinner here tonight. I'm gonna take care of the neighbors uh, that helped me out up here. Wishing you a wonderful summer, and we'll see you again soon here at the pantry. Thanks for watching.